And we are back with the Super Mario 64 playthrough, and as you can see, we are in the basement of Princess Peach's castle. This is some nice basement. You know, with decorations or something, this could be a really nice place. By the way, how did Bowser get into the castle again? I don't know. He has tons of ways to get there anyways. And here is the introduction of the rabbit, which has not one star, but two. One of them is actually right now, the second star is actually for later on. Now, what's the difference between this one and the DS version? Well, the difference is that, um, well, there is no rabbit. Wow. In this place, at least. Because in the beginning of the game, you actually ca catch a rabbit which will give you a key to enter the castle itself. But besides that, there is no rabbit, at least in this area. I don't know why they took it off, but um, I guess yeah. it. I guess it was. Yes, version. Just roll with it. I guess. I guess it's because he's too difficult to catch, in a certain Maybe. way. He, it, and he is. Trust me, he is difficult to catch. But anyways, now we got a star on the way. Wait, wait, wait. So, so they took that out, but they don't take one of the missions in this level. No, no. You know the one. <laughs> anyways. Little Lava Land is the new level, and we're going to start doing the first mission. Yeah, um, uh, now this level can be a bit annoying because falling into the lava will take three of your health, uh, which is kind of annoying, especially with the enemies around. I definitely recommend in the DS version to use Yoshi because at this point, since you unlock Mario and Luigi, you get, in the beginning of the level, you get to select what cap you want to use, either Mario or Luigi. So if you want to start with Yoshi, it's a lot easier now. But you still lose the fucking thing really easy if you get um, um, attacked. But that's not a big problem because the enemies here don't actually damage you, so... And the lava does not count. And that helps. Anyways, in this mission, we kill that guy. <laughs> I forgot what's it. I, I, these things are called bullies. And they are, trust me. Well, no wonder they're called bullies, because they bully you all the time. God fucking bastards. Oh well. Anyways, we got the first star, Boil the Big Bully. Yay! Bully the... Boil the Big Bully, I see what you've done there. <laughs> Nintendo can do... It can do puns. Bully oh, the God. bullies! Oh god... By the way, they didn't take this mission off the DS version. Just kind of mentioning that. But anyway, let's talk about this mission. How bad I jump? <laughs> um, no. Uh, let's talk, what do you have to do in this In this mission? one, you gotta beat these bullies until the big one shows up. That's pretty much the whole thing. Uh, remember when I said that Lava does 3 damage? Yes, it does 4. <laughs> it does 4 in this game? Yeah, it does. It does 4, not 3. Okay. Okay, so I guess it was reducing the DS version. However, I think they pull you further away. Yes, fortunately here it's not the case. One, two, three. Oh, it's three. Never mind, it's three. You're, you're right, it is three. Well, fuck you then. Then in the S version it's worse. God damn it, these bullies are assholes. Assholes. I meant the help bar. Lava, help bar. Yes, but they throw you so far away, you're always gonna fucking fall in the lava, which is annoying. The good thing about it, they don't do damage, so... It's all cool when they don't do damage, but still, they took three out. Why did they take that mission off? Then again, I guess there wouldn't be a point for bullies to begin with. Uh, anyway, still. third mission. That's the only problem with this level what, that I have, actually. Death and the random fireballs hitting me, but that's beyond the point. Anyways, in this this mission, you gotta go to the coin po uh, to the uh, the puzzle, uh, the Bowser ah. puzzle, the Bowser puzzle. Yeah, this is like the easiest uh, red coin. coin. Yeah, it is. I agree. It is the easiest. Uh, also, if the puzzle actually makes Bowser, you actually get, uh, coins will pop up. Like now? <laughs> yes, like now. <laughs> like that. Like yeah. that? Just like that. Anyways. Star Ghetto!
Aha! There we go. Ah, that was fast. Indeed. What's next? Now oh. we can get coffee. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, I think it's the log one. Let me see if the mission says so. Yeah, it is. The red hot log rolling. Pretty much you just roll a log. Yeah, there's nothing complicated about that. And it's pretty much the same thing in the DS version. Is that we have Yoshi. Yoshi! Yep. He must be good uh, at rolling. But like I said, Yoshi makes this a lot easier. Especially if you're bad at platforming. Damn it! It burns! It burns! I know, right? Look at all that damage. And this is why bullies never appear in another game. Yep. <laughs> I, I think Nintendo realized that it was a bad idea. Okay, so pretty much Nintendo was starting to say, if a bully pulls you, you pull him back. Oh. <laughs> right for Nintendo. That's good education right there, Nintendo. Oh god. Jesus. I really <laughs> and I messed up there, I know. This is all to not do this. Anyways, you just roll, there you go. This can sometimes be a bit awkward because if you go a little too forward or if you stop for way too much time, it will stop and go back. Yep, it does. Yeah, it's kinda awkward. Anyways, let's get the star. Aha, another star in the bucket. And now the other two, I believe it's inside the volcano. Uh huh. So, I actually never knew, when I was a kid, I actually never knew that, that you could go inside the volcano. Yeah, I wouldn't think to actually go into a fucking inside a volcano that is erupting in my face. <laughs> you bet. It's normally the logical tag. Are you saying, jump into the volcanoes, that's a-okay! Also, there was a block. <laughs> Uh, What's well. Nintendo trying to teach here? I don't know. D d d teaching nothing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are you gonna say about the block? Uh, there was a block uh, in the beginning. That block contains a Koopa shell. Oh yeah, we're gonna see that later. Yep. Anyways, uh, inside of Volcano there are two paths. Both of the paths give you a star. I'm just gonna go for the first path, which is the right path. Also, inside the Volcano is actually more impressive in the DS version because those ashes uh, uh, platforms on the bottom look really good, as well as the the rest of the of this part of the level actually. Yeah, well this is 90s style. Uh, we can't blame that. Yes. Another thing is that um, in the DS version you only would have two poles. In here you have four. Yep. They they just cut it half. Cut the budget. Also, I yes. failed the, the, the poles part, so I had to go all the way back up again. Yeah, it's not that hard. Where Mario's walking is where he's gonna jump. Yep, pretty much. Alright. So, I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that the DS version is easier than the uh, 64 version. Uh, but there's there's a, there, there's a few things that can be harder depending on what character you're using. Anyways, I think I'm gonna... no. <laughs> okay. No, you're not. No! You're not gonna edit you to the volcano. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, let's go back in. For the other As star. You know, uh, uh, going into a volcano is always a good idea. Yeah, you'll burn yourself to death. Also, I felt uh, the whole elevator thing, so I had to go all the way back again. Yeah, I'm smart. Hey, NS, guess what the difference in the DS version is? There's no elevator! Well, there is. Uh, but there is a small difference. And I shall say it when we get to that. This oh, elevator tour sounds fun. <laughs> Wee. Yep, yeah, because that one will fall, so you better jump. Okay, I'm actually gonna ask you what's the difference as soon as we get to a point. Okay, can you tell me what's the difference from this LEDS version NS? The flying tank doesn't exist? Yep. <laughs> yeah, and here it does! Oh god. I guess it's to make it a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, although I don't see all that's kind of hard. I mean, if you point in the right direction, you should jump right into the pole. But, uh, heck. What, I, what do I care? I don't really care much about challenge anyway, especially in the platforming game. I'm already bad at platforming. 
I don't need the game to tell me. Anyways, now we're gonna do the hundred coin star. Because it's you possible. To cut. Yes, because um, this next six minutes is you collecting that, but I guess that gives me a chance to talk about another mission in the DS version, which I guess it's a bonus mission, which I did say that I was not gonna focus on those. But LS is gonna collect our hundred stars. I think I have the right. Uh, you see this island right here, that's where the star would appear if you collect the five silver stars. The five silver stars are around the platforms and you need the shell to get those. Or, yeah, well actually you don't need the shell, but it is a lot easier using the shell. By going around these things, it's around those platforms you see that you can go with the shell. That's pretty much all I have to say about that mission. It's not that really that hard actually. Also, surfing in lava is badass. Oh, you bet. It is. I actually like so it. So I have a question. How, how does the paintings work? How do they do that? I don't know. It just makes you warp to a, one world to another? Eh. It's like Bowser just got into the castle and then suddenly paintings and you can go into different levels and there are stars everywhere. Ah, why should I question this at this point? It's, it's moral logic, like I said. Why are they not dead? I'm invincible, goddammit! Die! <laughs> okay, you know what? Stay there, I don't care. Yeah, just, just stay there, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, they were dead! <laughs> In the end, they die. They anyway. died. Did you hear that? They died. Well, fuck. <laughs> so much for those coins. Oh well. There's more coins where they, those two came from. Yep. Uh, that, that was actually a funny one. I'll have to admit. There's a bunch of one-ups in this game. It's like the game is saying you're gonna die a lot in this level. You yeah, but then it doesn't crazy. matter at the end. Yeah, I know, right? Because when you start again, load the game in this case, you start by the default number of lives. Four. Yeah. So what was the point of putting one-ups? I think this is the <laughs> only game that pretty much the one-ups are a little bit useless. Yeah, pretty much. The DS version kinda has something that I should have already taught, but since I already missed my sense twice, I'm gonna say it when we get to another one of those. Wink wink, nudge nudge, something, I don't know. Ah, it burns! I probably should stop screaming to the mic. That's uh, a really old habit of mine. Oh uh, jeez. I was thinking about- oh, wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Get more coins. That's what you're supposed to do. Or you can always go back and get the shell again. <sighs> yeah, I guess that would work. Then again, I wasn't but thinking no. about that. Uh, okay. So yeah, this rest of this part is this mission. Why didn't you? I forgot. Up or something. <laughs> well, fuck. I gotta forgot. I guess I was dumb enough to not do that. I was dumb enough to yeah. Pretty much. For the next few minutes, we're gonna talk about Edis forgetting about editing this. Well, at least I recovered all the hell. By that's, the way, that's... you can tell when the puzzle pieces are moving, when they are shaking. I think that's quite obvious. Oh, by the way, we got all the right coins again. Yep. That's I think this is interesting to talk about. Uh, this is where I go to the volcano. No, wait. This is this is where I get the other blue coin. Yeah. Which is this one? I think there's a shortcut here, but then again, I'm not sure. Maybe it's not. Huh. I think there is a warp somewhere actually, but Whoa. I'm not sure. Wow, how did that happen? Like, I ju uh, I got hit by the, vo the lava and then the thing was going up. I should have been stuck. No, I wasn't stuck. I got up there somehow. Ah. Glitch! Yay! Actually, there's a bunch of glitch that I actually found when I was... Oh, okay, not bunch, just one. But I guess I can talk that as soon as we get into a swimming section. See, there's the eruption. Yeah, actually you can go doing the eruption. That's we see the DS version. That thing doesn't damage you for some reason. So, you know what they say? If an eruption is on, you just jump right into it. Yep. Oh, good. Anyways. Oh, okay, finally, we get... Wag! Yes! <laughs> 
Yay! Told you you're worth it. And now I'm gonna get. Ow. I could have warped back and I kind of like. Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna get the one up for no reason. <laughs> Let me get that one up. Or two one ups in this case. Jump the because platforms! I yeah, I know, right? Jump those platforms! Get on the hiders! Oh, wait, wrong video game. Wrong movie? <laughs> <laughs> movie and video game. There you go. Well, uh, no, that part is from Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> well, it could have been from the movie as well. <laughs> oh, no, well. It I could, guess. but I don't think he said that. He said something similar to that. Aha. Uh -huh. And okay, now that, yeah, now we're, d okay, now we're done. Good. Because I was tired of that level. So, see you guys oh. next time for some other stuff. Bye. Bye-bye.